you one more time with Chef Ricardo cooking program guys today we want to make you some lovely Jamaican porridge it's black history month this month and I'm telling you something guys a lot of people forgot about black history month black history month is one of the most powerful time of the year where black come together anyway I'm making some Jamaican porridge which is caramel banana peanut and oats all of those ingredients together give you a nice lovely morning time porridge with a glass of water balance the diet it's good for you so guys hopefully this will be a benefit to you and this will help you and please leave your comment subscribe to the channel get a copy of my cooking book on Amazon and see you next time bye bye nice and lovely welcome back in the kitchen one more time with chef Ricardo cooking program guys as we always said first of all we're gonna make you a nice lovely peanut caramel banana and oats porridge this morning I'm gonna have two fingers of green banana right here so basically I'm gonna simply show you what you need to do guys but please be careful when you're using your knife at home get a little knife like this one remove the skin from the banana make sure you get a green banana real green because you don't want to get the one where ripe is your porridge gonna taste like a ripe banana porridge you don't need it simple very small inside of your pan like that nice and lovely I got one pot of oats one pot of oats we will record to grab about quarter cups of oats I will have about four tablespoons of oats simple I got some cornmeal I'm gonna simply put A little bit of cornmeal a little bit of oats not too much and a little bit more cornmeal nice and lovely we're gonna put some coconut milk also inside of it Just to make it go down straight on the side of it, guys, just to get the blender free up a little bit. A little bit of oil and milk. Cover it and blend it for roughly about five to six minutes. I'm using a smooth blender. If you have a blender, it's much better. Nice and lovely. So now I finished blending, and you're looking for a nice, lovely smooth blend. As you can see, it inside really thick. That's what you're looking for if it is too much you can always add milk to it so now we're going to show you the next bit now look at this guys medium sized pot on the stove with some water as you can see quarter pots of water just a little bit of water inside of it and basically what we're going to do we're going to pop a little bit more of the coconut cream inside of it like this pinch of cinnamon pinch of mixed spice then we're gonna grate some nutmeg egg to put inside of it but just to get it loose out these bits and also put a pinch of salt nice I want so put the salt one small nutmeg egg inside of it and some Vanilla, oh, that's too much. Roughly a tablespoon of vanilla, but that's a little bit too much. Then, I'm gonna put in your blending mix inside of it like this. Just 
keep stirring it until it get thick and leave it for it to cook for roughly about 10 minutes. Nice and lovely as you can see how thick it is. Really thick. So what you need to do, just add a little bit more milk. That's all I always say in my video. If you're making porridge, you can always add ingredients, but you can always carve it when it's spoiled, guys. So that's the best way. So now you're gonna have it on the right level or you want it now. You can always add a little bit of milk. If it is too thick, if you don't like if you like it runny, you can add as much milk. But when you make it runny, you can't get it thick. So this is the best way to do it. I like my porridge a little bit thick, but not too thick though guys. So when we sweep it with condensed milk, probably might get a little bit runny. And lovely so basically what we're gonna do now we're gonna sweeten this and hopefully guys you will love it and enjoy the recipe so bro what you need to do is just sweeten and taste as it goes along I'm using some sweet condensed milk So right here I'm using some sweet condensed milk and basically it is roughly half cans of sweet condensed milk I'm using so I'm just gonna sweeten and taste as it goes along. That's only half cans of sweet condensed milk. So I don't need it. I don't know if you're gonna need some more. If not, hopefully you'll be fine. But as you can see the richness of it. So as I said, the sweet condensed milk do help it to balance and get a little bit more runny. So you have to be careful when you're making parts like this because you don't want it to be too runny and look like water. You know what I mean? You need to look like it look like porridge. So I'm going to taste it. Mm. To be honest guys, not because I'm me make it, but I'm not gonna add anything else to this one. Seriously, this is perfect. We're fine. The sweetness is right. The salt is right, and I can taste the spices inside of it, and the coconut milk also. So what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna just leave this for another five to six more minutes. Make it go and simmer with the sweetness inside of it. Look at that. Beautiful. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna shear it out now, roughly about seven minutes now, since it's been cooking on a medium sized heat. So we're gonna pour it inside a bowl, make you guys see exactly what's going on. Nice and lovely. If you can see how oh, I set this, guys, that's so you guys can see exactly what Chef Ricotta is all about. Basically, I have some oats, banana, peanut, caramel, cinnamon stick, and this one is not an egg and a glass of water. I got a big bowl right here. The reason why this is really good guys when you finish all of these ingredients and you make it porridge you need to drink a glass of water to balance your diet basically we're gonna pour out this lovely porridge straight inside of this bowl right here guys nice and lovely so as you can see exactly what me is all about with this lovely breakfast Calming porridge for breakfast, guys, with a nice, lovely glass of water. It's healthy and good for you. And as you can see, looking lovely and nice. And this is really good for you. So, guys, hopefully, you enjoy the recipe. Subscribe to the channel and leave your comments. Thank you so much for watching Chef Ricotta Cooking Program. We we'll see you next time with a lot more recipe like this coming out for you. Black Easter month, the end of this month. And remember. Black Easter month, we know that turtle caramel, caramel porridge is one of the main topic are uh, Akian saw fish and these things. So guys, hopefully this will be a benefit to you and you will help out.